Is it safe to switch between a brand name drug and a generic drug? The answer is a yes, with a but. So in this video I'll try to explain why it's a yes and why there is a but. So the story begins when a drug company invents a new drug, they sell it for an expensive price to pay for the research and the advertisements they have done. And they can call this drug any brand name they want. Luvaza, Cialis, Chill Pill, anything they want. So 20 years later, when their patent runs out, other companies can manufacture the same drug and sell it for cheap, since they don't pay for any advertisements or nearly as much research. So according to the Drug Price Competition and Patent Term Restoration Act of 1984, the company making the generic drug must show that their generic is bioequivalent to the brand name. Bioequivalent means that the generic drug must have the exact same active ingredient, dose, route of administration, and the same rate and extent of absorption as the brand name. Generic drugs are allowed to have different filler materials holding in the active ingredient. That's why generic drugs come in different shapes, colors, and sizes compared to their brand name drugs. So the problem is, different filler materials can affect how the tablet dissolves and gets absorbed in your body. So to overcome this problem, the generic drug must be proven to have similar rate and extent of absorption as the brand name before it gets approved. So if you were to graph the concentration of drug in your blood versus time, when you take a tablet it gets absorbed gradually and the concentration in the blood increases until it reaches a peak. Then it starts decreasing as the body starts metabolizing and getting rid of the drug. So the extent of absorption is the area under the curve and the rate of absorption can be represented by this peak which we call Cmax. So the generic drug company hires a group of people and gives them the drug being tested. Then blood samples are obtained from them to measure the concentrations of the drug in the blood at various times. From these numbers an average Cmax and area under the curve are calculated. And to ensure the precision of these numbers a 90% confidence interval is calculated. So the 90% confidence interval gives us a range which if you were to repeat the same experiment yourself, there is a 90% chance the average Cmax and AUC you will get will lie within this range. The medical experts in the FDA specify that the 90% confidence interval of the Cmax and that of the AUC of the generic drug must entirely lie within 80% to 125% of the average Cmax and AUC of the brand. If the confidence interval lies outside these ranges, the generic drug will not be approved. So since the FDA allows a little bit of room for variation in concentration between brand name drugs and generic drugs, does this mean that they are different and we shouldn't switch between them? Well, not quite. It depends on the therapeutic index of the drug in question. So the therapeutic index is a ratio between the dose that causes toxicity in half of the population over the dose that produces a desirable therapeutic effect in half of the population. A large therapeutic index implies that there is a wide range of concentrations of the drug in the blood that would achieve the desired therapeutic effect. And a small therapeutic index implies that there is a small range of concentrations that achieves the desired therapeutic effect. So switching a drug with a small therapeutic index between brand and generic is kind of risky because the new concentration might be outside the narrow range of desirable concentrations. On the other hand, switching a drug with a large therapeutic index is safe because even if the generic drug achieves a different concentration compared to the brand, that concentration would still be within the desirable therapeutic range. The vast majority of drugs have a large therapeutic index, so switching between brands and generics here is entirely safe and effective in those drugs. Switching is only an issue in drugs with a small therapeutic index. So is it safe to switch between a brand name and a generic drug? The answer is yes, but only if the drug has a large therapeutic index. So switching to a generic is always okay, except for some few drugs. 
And the moral of the story is, a brand name that's more expensive doesn't mean it's better.